You can see when your ultimate is full, you press the space bar and it gives you that range. This is so sick. What is going on Axie fam? Elijah here back with another video. And today I have one that I am ridiculously excited about. What you see in front of me right now is the biggest news that the Ronin blockchain has launched along with the fact that by the time you're watching this, staking is here. It is a massive month for the Ronin network. This beautiful title in front of me is called the Machines Arena. And if anybody was paying attention, there was a little bit of a leak on the 23rd. They tweeted meet Ron, our QA engineer who got a double elimination play testing. Some quick recaps on the Ronin network before I jump into gameplay. Aside from Ethereum, Ronin has processed three times more NFT trading volume than any other chain. They handled 15% of all NFT volume in 2021 and $5 billion has been deposited in value and there's over 4 million wallet downloads. And we've just up upgraded to designated proof of stake, which is our next step towards decentralization. It improves security and it opens the door for more game studio partners, more games and applications. And of course we can stake our RON to participate in helping secure the network and earn passive income as a result. So let's get back to the highlight of this video, which is the machines arena. Here we can see TMA is a top down hero shooter where players clash in adrenaline fueled combat. The Machines Arena is developed by Directive Games, which is a studio that boasts experienced devs from the likes of DICE, Lucas Games, as well as Ubisoft. So these guys know what they're doing and it shows in the gameplay and the art and the experience of the Machines Arena. What I love about this game is that there's gonna be multiple modes. So Death Run, where you're trying to beat your own personal record. I love that, I love challenging myself to go higher and higher. You also have Quick Play, which is currently like the PVP mode. And there's a few different ways to play that. One of which being a game where you are pushing a cart toward the finish line of your opponent and they're trying to push it back toward you. It makes for a very exciting clash of a tug of war type of game. And then of course you can make custom games. We're gonna see this come into play for tournaments and competitions. This game has what it takes to grow and develop as in esports. I'm sure they're going to aim in that direction more and more over time. It is easy to learn, hard to master. There's a lot of nuances. You have to be very, very fast technically. And what's great is that for the PvP tutorial, you will know exactly how to play the game in five minutes in terms of the layout, the keys. It's very easy to jump into. As we head into the gallery of all the different heroes, you can see that everyone has a different ultimate. They have different abilities if you're playing in PvP mode. So you can select your character. And look at how wonderful this artwork is. The flow of each character. They've created a wonderful intellectual property. I think people will grow to love these characters, which is massive when you're creating a game and very difficult to do. And it just shows you that the caliber of team behind this product is very high. I am really impressed with Sky Mavis, with Kathleen, for the entire team for letting this be the first title that we get to see. Not only do the characters look incredible, but they all are going to have different skins that become available to look even more insane. This is where the play and own component, the fact that we're built on Ronin comes into the picture, something that you don't get to do in Web 2. And you don't have the freedom to trade or sell them in Web 2 we're running on Ronin. And they certainly wanna make digital collectibles an integral part of this game. And we can already see a lot of promise just from this initial glimpse into the heroes. So again, there'll be two big game modes, PVP as well as the death run. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into death run for the sake of this video. By the way, I'm gonna be giving away some keys for you guys to play the Machines Arena. So make sure to follow me on Twitter where I'm gonna actually announce it. There are ways that you can earn a key to get your hands on this and get that alpha access. Remember that this is currently in the Epic Games studio. Epic Games is obviously a massive company launching some of the biggest game titles in the world, such as Fortnite. So the fact that we're getting put on this platform for our very first game is amazing. You love to see it. You love to see the legitimacy behind Ron and Ronin and the type of standard they're holding themselves to. The Machines Arena in a few months, it will be available in the Mavis Marketplace as well 
well, but my understanding is that it will actually live on both platforms, which is great. Okay, so here we are in death run mode. Right away, you get to choose between your standard weapon of a small machine gun or lightning rifle. I'm a lightning rifle kind of guy. It does not fire as fast, but the gun is way more powerful. I also find it a bit more fun because I do have to be precise and I do have to take my time with what I'm attacking. And right away, the way that this works is you're gonna be attacked by a bunch of different enemies and in the beginning, it's gonna be easier than later on. And then here you can see that as soon as you pass a level, you get to equip an ability. Now this isn't always the case, it depends on which doors that you walk through in the game. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Molotov grenade. Okay, so you actually have two abilities on your characters. One is gonna be right click, here we go, there's our grenade. They're gonna be taking damage as they walk through that and some initial damage when it drops. Boom, we're gonna kill that guy. We can dash, make ourselves a little more maneuverable. Oh, piercing shot is so good. This is the one that you really want to try to get every single time. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So piercing shot, I hold, I hold, I hold. I can hold all the way up to 100%, which I believe makes it more powerful. And the other cool thing is I'm going to get to showcase new abilities. Like here I have missile strike. Let me get into some more action to show that one off. All right, big level here. We have our work cut out for us. Let's drop our missiles. Boom, boom, wow, that was massive. What a good kill. What a way to start this level off. And we get a health pack which we so desperately needed. We're getting a ton of credits. Let's dash, let's missile strike, let's kill, let's go. This is looking super clean for us. I just wanna try my ultimate. Space bar kills almost everything in sight. We are taking serious damage again. We need more health packs. There's actually one over here. Missile strike. I gotta dodge, I gotta dash, I gotta dodge. I gotta get this health. Boom, boom, back to full HP. Let's get the kill, lightning rifle, and we get more credits. That is how it is done. 410 credits. Yes, thank you very much. We gotta go with missile strike. We gotta go with, think, move speed. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna go ammo. I'm just gonna go ammo this time. But we're faster, we're stronger. God, I'm flowing, I'm flowing. Let's upgrade. Oh, maybe I should replace my ultimate just for the content. Let's go ahead and do that. What does this do? Oh, it looks like it just makes me attack for a lot more damage, health, gives me more speed. All right, it looks pretty straightforward on how to like use it. By the way, timer up here, if you run out of time on a level, you're going to lose. So make sure that you stay pretty fast with needing to get through these. Don't waste too much time. Only 38 seconds. What's taking me so, no, this is so sad. I was taking time explaining things. Come on, don't make me go out like this. I used my system overdrive. Okay, you can see how fast I am. I'm doing more damage. It's cool that at least I got to try that out. I'm like flying through. I have more health. Oh, I can't believe I only have 18 seconds. I didn't realize that the time sometimes carries over between like little levels and just like that, we're probably done. So that's that. By the way, to get the high score, you're gonna have to walk out eventually of a stage so every once in a while you get checkpoints and you can exit the game and that's where you secure your score. It's actually not gonna show up if you just die or you get eliminated due to losing time. It's sort of a calculated risk thing where you're like, can I go one more level? Can I go one more level? And if you go and you don't make it, then you lose that entire run. So eventually you have to say, hey, that was a six score. I can exit at this platform at this level and then you do and you secure it. I'm gonna end by just taking a quick look at this tutorial that I was talking about earlier. It's so awesome because you just come in, you learn about your abilities. For instance, we can see explosive bullets here. Boom. And this is what I wanted to showcase is the ultimate ability. You can see the one that uh, made me more powerful and faster. We saw the fire ability, which I wasn't exactly sure how to execute, but this is certainly the coolest looking in my opinion. You can see when your ultimate is full, you press the space bar and it gives you that range. This is so sick. I feel like they're all eventually gonna kind of be at this level as the game progresses but essentially I am launching an assault missile attack. This looks like a nuke. It almost reminds me of a nuke in StarCraft II. You pick your area. By the way, if you wanna back out of it, you can press Alt and then you go back to your normal, like regular stance. You don't always have to use it when you click it, but when you click space and you wanna use it, you get this view, you click, you target, you destroy, you get the cool animation, and I just love to see this. I look forward to more and more things coming from the game that look like that. I've really enjoyed my run through and getting to be a tester as this gets worked on. I love the art, I love the animations. I like the progression in the death run mode 
And then there's also PVP, as I mentioned before, which looks really cool, team versus team. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved making it. I'm more bullish on Ron than I ever have been. The Machines Arena is here. There's more titles on the way. Staking is here. You guys are amazing. Follow me on Twitter. Giveaway for the codes coming very soon. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.